day. This is Teacher PJ. Welcome to another episode of eDream. Are you ready for our lesson for today? Nice! Our topic for today is all about the visibility rules for 4, 8, 12, and 11. There are different ways to find if a number is divisible by 4, 8, 12, or 11. Now, let's start with the divisibility rule for 4. First, if the last two digits of a number is divisible by 4, and if the number ends with two zeros. Example, 372. To find if this number is divisible by 4, let's apply the first rule. Let's take the last two digits and divide it by 4. 72 divided by 4 is equal to 18. Therefore, 372 is divisible by 4. Now, let's have another example. Let's try 2,500. Now, since the number ends with two zeros, the second rule takes place. Hence, making it divisible by 4. Now, let's take a look at the divisibility rule for 8. First, if the last three digits forms a number that is divisible by or a multiple of 8. Also, if a number ends with three zeros. Let's try these examples. We have 6,520. Now, let's apply the first rule. Take the last three digits and divide it by 8. 520 divided by 8 is equal to 65, making 6,520 divisible by 8. How about 17,000? Is it divisible by 8? Yes, it is. Since the number ends with three zeros, therefore, it is divisible by 8, following the rule number 2. And now, divisibility rule for 12. Any number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 4. To check if it is divisible by 3, we have to add all the digits in the number and divide it by 3. For example, 648. The number 648 is divisible by 3 since 6 plus 4 plus 8 is equal to 18 divided by 3 which is equal to 6. To check if the number is divisible by 4, we just have to follow the rule of divisibility for 4. For example, the number 648 is divisible by 4 since the last two digits are divisible by 4. 48 divided by 4 is equal to 12. Hence, the number 648 is divisible by 12. Finally, the divisibility rule for 11. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of the alternating digits is 0 or multiple of 11. For example, 715. We will be adding 7 and 5 and subtracting it by the alternating number or numbers, in this case, is 1. 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 minus 1, which is equal to 11. Therefore, 
715 is divisible by 11. Let's try another one. 6,413. This time, we have to add 6 and 1 and subtract it by the sum of 4 and 3. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 minus 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. The result is 0, making 6,413 divisible by 11. Let's summarize. A number is divisible by 4. If the last two digits form a number that is divisible by 4, or the last two digits are 0. A number is divisible by 8. If its last three digits form a number that is divisible by 8, and if it ends in three zeros. A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 4. And a number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of alternating digits is 0 or a multiple of 11. Apply your skills. Find which among 4, 8, 12, and 11 is a common factor of the following pairs of numbers. Example, 344 and 1,600. 344 is divisible by 4 and 8. 1,600 is divisible by 4 and 8. Common factor are 4 and 8. Let's get started. Ready? Go! 3080 and 9804. 3080 is divisible by 4, 8, and 11. 9000 804 is divisible by 4 and 12. So the common factor is 4. Next, 1780 and 336. 1,780 is divisible by 4 and 12. 336 is divisible by 4, 8, and 12. The common factor are 4 and 12. 132 and 1,760. 132 is divisible by 4, 12, and 11. 1760 is divisible by 4 and 11. The common factor are 4 and 11. That's all children. Always remember, Know the rules to find a solution to solve your problem. Well done. Thank you for your cooperation. I hope that you learned something today. See you next time. Bye-bye.